good morning everyone this is vijay from dublin ohio and i'm very fortunate to have an opportunity to talk on the nuclear science of yoga in comparison to the nuclear science of matter before i begin i would uh, offer a prayer to my guru uh, i request all of you to join me in the prayer गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नमः बार बार वंदन करू सदगुरुदेव यहाँ वहाँ सब ठाम में महिमा परम पार शरण शरण में शरण हूँ हे गुरु बंदी छोर मोही उबारो हे गुरु यह सौ बार निहो जनाधीन वंदन करे कहीं विधि की जैसे वार पार की गम नहीं नमो नमो मम देव एक शब्द गुरुदेव का ताको अनंत विचार था के मुनि जन पंडिता वेदन पावे पार वेद थके ब्रह्मा थके थकिया शेष महेश गीता हूँ की गम नहीं तह सदगुरु उपदेश द न्यूक्लियर साइंस एज सुबीर जी इन द बिगनिंग ओनली एक्सप्लेन it primarily revolves around the concepts of radiations whether be the microwave oven for baking food smoke detector for detecting the smoke x-ray scanner to scan the fault in the structure of the bones and other parts of the body or be the carbon 14 technique for finding the age of the matter nuclear science says that within an atom the electrons revolve around the nucleus in their orbit with certain quantum of energy and when the electron jumps from higher quantum orbit to the lower orbit it emits the energy it basically emits the electromagnetic waves the moment it jumps from one quantum uh, to another quantum and it is that radiation that the scientists have leveraged to build certain tools that helps in our day to day life all the product of nuclear science that we use in our day to day life basically perform their job using these radiations however the nuclear science of yoga deals with altogether different set of subjects that the nuclear science of matter miserably fails to explain about where the x-ray fails to scan the thoughts propping up every moment in an uncontrolled mind of an individual it is the nuclear science of yoga that can equip a yogi to scan and read through the mind of an individual there are many examples on that there is one recent example that happened in front of me just a year ago the testimony to this science was the day when shivani in meditation was able to hear loudly the puja that lalit was performing in his mind 
because he did not want to disturb shivani in meditation what scanning theory of matter can explain the experience that shivani was undergoing with at that point of time when she was not only able to hear what the mind of lalit was propping the thought within but she was also able to see and experience all the visual experience with the closed eyes whatever happened in and around lalit in the nucleus if okay if you look at all the living being in the li- nucleus to all living being is the spirit the soul the way all radioactive matters constantly emit the radiation of microparticles the soul constantly emits the rays of consciousness no nuclear science of matter could alter or liberate the everlasting energy that exists in the form of soul within the body but the nuclear science of spirituality does that the vihangam yoga not only explains how the radiations emitting from soul is utilized by mind to control uh, uh, to connect to the different subjects of the creation but it also explains how the flow of consciousness can be reversed to connect to the eternal bliss that the soul is seeking for and in this sense the comfort that the nuclear science of matter provide in our day to day life dims down in front of the peace of mind and the bliss that the nuclear science of vihangam yoga provides so let us begin with the theory of the constant radiation of consciousness there are few questions that each one of us would probably be having about the the soul that exists and the energy that it has within the body what is the rays of consciousness in vihangam yoga named as vihangam yoga names it as surati there exist eight different surati in this soul where seven of them are constantly utilized to perform the daily course of actions and the secret eight sur- surati remain unused until the practice of vihangam yoga directs it beyond the 10th gate to connect to the bliss what is our daily problem fine with the advent of the nuclear science of matter we have devised so many instruments that helps to speed up our activity if you have to heat the water or the milk yes the microwave can do it just in a minute just place the glass of water the milk in the microwave just press button one express heating it heats up just in a minute it does the job so fast so easy the life has become so easy and comfortable with the advent of the nuclear science devices but the basic problem that still exist is the thought the radiations of thoughts that are constantly emitting in our mind keeping us stressed up and not giving the peace of mind is the bottleneck problem behind everything who will help in that it is the nuclear science of yoga the vihangam yoga meditation that directly starts with controlling the mind and it is that science that can even stop the radiation of thoughts in the mind how does the surati flow and connect to the different subjects of the creation fine we have seven suratis directly connecting to the subjects of the matter but how does the connections are established how does the connection establish vihangam yoga further explains there exists an evil mind with the human body that plays the major role in directing the flow of consciousness that radiation of soul to the external subject of existence the evil mind captures the consciousness from soul and connects with sense organs 